Alright, continuing on and opening up these doors for other people. They were locked for a little bit. Uh, and no sooner than she said so, the door to the cafeteria swung open. After waiting like 10 minutes while I got a drink. Oh, my favorite person! Hello! He's so happy. Look at those beautiful eyebrows. What a beautiful man. Alright, if it isn't... If it isn't N Nagi and Maizono, so the two of you are at the head of the pack, huh? And here I will I thought I was first. What a disgrace. I'm so proud of you, though. <laughs> it just goes to show that I'm not trying hard enough. But I won't give in. Next time, my victory is assured. Justice always prevails. Aw, oh, it's not that big of a deal. Don't you ruin his moment. Don't you ruin his moment. Every moment he has is a moment. And not long after that, one after another, the remaining students gathered in, gathered in the cafeteria. After just a few minutes, everyone had finally arrived. Oh, now we get to see how everybody sits. Those two, s oh, those two standing in the back. Uh, she sits there. Uh, eh, actually, yeah, I could see the seating order being like that. I'm surprised, uh, Blondie and, uh, the red-haired... Yeah, I'm surprised the blonde is sitting where she is, but... Uh, I guess it's better than nothing. I, I guess they needed one female on that side of the table. Because there were all the females are on the other side of the table. Uh, excellent. It looks like everyone's arrived. I move to commence the ascent, uh, assembly. Post-haste. Such that we can, together, make known unto all the fruits of our investigation and escape from this place as quickly as possible. Just wait a, just a second. What is it? Uh, what was her name again? That silver-haired chick. Ah, right, right. Kyoki Kiri, Kyoko Kirigiri. What about her? She's not here. Huh. Nandato! I spun to look around the cafeteria. Like she said, Girigiri was nowhere to be found. Where do you think she is? Has anyone seen her? Everyone just shook their heads. Huh? No one's seen her anywhere? Could the reason she's not here be because... Beating, stabbing, pounding, cutting, burning, crushing, strangling, slaughtering, hexing... The method doesn't matter. What's really important is that you can't get out unless you kill someone. Do whatever it takes to obtain the best results from the worst method. No way. It couldn't be. I doubt she's dead, honestly. They're making her out to be like a pretty big character. No, I'm worrying too much. That's all. Gary, Gary, you insolent. Late on your first day. Being late is one thing, but to not inform me in advance is to shirk your duty as a latecomer. You know what you're saying is, like, ridiculous, don't you? Regardless, time of, is of the essence. What's done is done. I hereby declare the first regular Kabogamine Academy informal, uh, informational si uh, assembly open. I thought I was just gonna say informal. Just like... Uh, but he, he is very... He seems kind of formal. With what he does, uh, assembly open. Hey, Nagi, to start, since everyone split up to look around, we should see what they have to say. Right, sounds good. <laughs> it kind of, uh, what's up? Just then, did it feel like I was real? I really was your psych? Please stay away from me. No, go away. Please, I don't like you. No more, I do not. No, just, no, go away. I'm not a very dependable psychic. But I'll do my best for you. Nah, I don't think you could have done more. I don't think I could have a more dependable sidekick than you, my son. Nagi, you've got the wrong idea. Anyone is a better sidekick than her. She's she's gonna be the death of us. I'm calling it here. It's all over. He's already fallen into her trap. Please just stay away from me. All right. Hey, where's he hiding? Oh, there he is. I was like, 
Hey, where's my main man? I don't want to talk to you. Can I, can I talk to you? What, why, why are you the only person I can't talk to? Oh wait, no, I can't talk to you guys. Oh, there's a door there. Do, do I really have to talk to her? No, but I, oh, fine. I thought I was going to be able to go through them all. Since you missed out, I'll explain things for you. We all split into groups to investigate the school. Togami and Ishimaru went off by themselves. Oh yeah, Kirigiri did too. Uh... React. I don't care about that. Tell me about Ishimaru. I investigated the dormitory area. And there, I made a discovery of the century. There's a room for each and every one of us. I already knew that. That was the first thing I checked out. There's a nameplate attached to each of the doors saying whose room it is. They were even so kind as to provide us with the keys and with name tags. Which means, as I thought, the room I was just in is mine. Our rooms look like they t they're totally soundproof too. Me and Fujisaki tested it out. Even screaming at the top of your lungs, you can't hear anything in the room next door. And they come with a wonderfully clean shower. There's even a lock on the shower door. Supposedly, that's only for the girls, though. Uh, I'm pretty sure my shower was locked when I checked it out. Strange. I should look at that again later. Anyway, what the hell do you think... What the hell do they think they're doing acting like we're actually gonna stay here? I'd rather have a room than not. This way, we need not to worry about fending for ourselves. So... Is that all you have to share? Doesn't seem likely, Mr. Honor Student. I finished my report. Who's next? Togami... Uh... What did Togami find? I went looking for clues as to who might be behind all this, this all. I found nothing. That is all. Uh, that's all? <laughs> Had I found anything, I would have informed you. Uh, of course. Understood. Those two have a weird relationship. Are you gonna give me more people? Oh, okay, I can keep going through. Uh, okay, that's one group. We checked out the iron plates on the windows in the halls and classrooms. We figured one of them might, like, come loose or something, but... Game over, man, game over. None of them damn things would budge even an inch. There's no way out. We really are trapped in here. This sucks. This sucks, this sucks. This seriously sucks. Like, what do we even do? Hey, hey, chill, you're freaking me out. Oh, that's lovely. That was a really weird group. Also... Like the most rare, uh, I wouldn't expect those to, uh, characters to be in a group together. Huh. Let's see. I did that. Wait, what? Those three? I'm looking at. So, uh, okay, let's look at. I just, just kind of interested. Those three, really? To be quite honest, we didn't so much work together. Okay, that's uh, that, that makes more sense. Let's just be like, really, those three? As we did nothing together, we were in the gymnasium the entire time. So Scurrying around the building, searching for breadcrumbs just isn't me. Huh? So what the hell were you guys thinking? Seriously, like, you did nothing? N nobody thought to invite me. Nobody came up to me and just said, let's go. It's not right, making a pariah out of me. You can't do that. It's your problem, if you wanted to come along, you should have, like, said something. <laughs> huh, uh, I take that back. Who, who would want to be around such a dirty whore? Oh, shit. Okay, it begins. Women like you, with your empty heads and cheap bodies, make me physically ill. It surprises me. No, it, it blows my mind that you can talk so much crap about someone you just met. Mama. Let's start this out peacefully, dudettes. 
Getting so worked up is bad for your skin, okay? He's right. Are you guys such really such good friends that you can fight like that? I don't think that's what this is. Yeah, you're a little too... Uh, just... Th this girl scares me. A lot. Okay, and the last group. We looked around the school zone, thinking there might be some way to communicate with, with the outside. But we didn't find anything. Sorry. After that, we went to the entrance hall, wanted wanted to s our we went back to the entrance hall, wanted to see if there was any way past that metal door. Me and Ugami together couldn't make a goddamn dent. We threw desks and chairs, but nothing. It's tough, man. Like iron. That would be because it is iron. Anyway, does it look like we'll be busting that thing down head on? I feel like I could cry, but I'll be strong. Can't waste water in a situation like this. No, <laughs> Can't waste water in a situation like this. Interesting. Uh, I will continue the report. Though it has not to do with contacting the outside, I did find something of slight interest. These are staircases leading up to the, both the dormitory and the school zone. Or uh, there are, uh, but there are shutters in the way, so we can't go up. Couldn't find a switch or anything either. At this point in time, it appears as though we are only permitted to explore the building's first floor. Regardless. There remains the possibility of further floors existing above a new, now inaccessible second, and thus the possibility of there being a way out. We've heard what everyone has to say. The only one who hasn't given a report yet is me. Yeah, okay, we can all uh, let's let's just get out of here. We can we can leave now. Uh huh. Maggie, why do you betray me? Trust me, you do not want to talk to her. I investigated the cafeteria. There's a kitchen in the back, and there's a refrigerator there, and the refrigerator there is packed full of food. Doesn't seem like we'll have to worry about going hungry at least. Oh, yeah. Doesn't seem like we'll have to worry about going hungry at least. As bountiful as the supply may be, it will only last but a few days for 15 of us. Well, I mean, they probably have refills, right? Well, I mean, with you there, I, I, <laughs> it might not even last 15 days, let's be honest, buddy. You can pack a couple down. Maybe a triple. <laughs> you, you can just eat seeds. Hey, B.I. Bird, folk. <laughs> oh. Okay, if he keeps that up, he might grow on me a little bit. Just, just a little bit. There's no need to worry. The fridge automatically restocks every day, or so Monokuma says. What you talked to him? Yeah, you saw him. He appeared while I was inspecting the fridge. Said that and ran off again. It happened too fast for me to believe. He's really radio controlled. A teleporting weaponized ninja teddy bear. Not sure if that's supposed to be scary or silly. That. The ninja part just. Like, just made that really weird. Well, I guess he did give everyone weapons. Teleporting, though. Well, I guess he did teleport fast. Yeah, he just. And he's a ninja now, apparently. Oh, right, well. Or floats the boat. You're alright, though, right? He didn't, like, try to eat you or anything. Eat. Eat. Hey, hey, what do you mean by that? What do you mean, did he try to eat her? Oh no, please. C cut it out! Watch it, Lardo. You're creeping way too hard. What are you? A drunken sleazebag or something? Is anyone not a sleazebag when they're drunk, dude? Hey there, quit scooting around, you guys. Are you even paying attention? We've been imprisoned, and we could be killed at any time. This chick's right. This ain't the time to be fucking around. We seriously gotta do something. The next thing we knew, a voice rose up in the, uh, up above the crowd, cutting him off mid-sentence. Y'all sound like you're enjoying yourselves. Are you just that confident? 
Or do you, uh, have you yet to accept the truth of our situation? What took you so long, Kirigiri? We've already begun our assembly. She responded by wordlessly tossing a single sheet of paper onto the table. Huh? What's this? A map of Kabogamon Academy. Uh, a map? Wait, where did you get this? Does it really matter? Of course it does. A response like that only makes it me all the more curious. More importantly, like, what's that give us? Based on this, it appears the building we're in is of the exact the same design as Kabogamon Academy. So this is actually the real Kabogamon Academy. Structurally, at least. Though a number of unusual modifications appear to have taken place. Modifications? I was only able to get my hands on the map of the first floor, so I don't know the details. So, this really is Kabokamite Academy, where we weren't take- and we weren't taken somewhere else? Bullshit. You're saying, this is the school that fosters elites for the country's future? But, guys, if this really is Kabokamite Academy, why aren't there other students here? Oh, come on, dudes. Enough with the Grimdark talk. You're not concerned about this, Hagakure? About all of this? Ooh. Concern? What's there to be concerned about, dude? This is just more scare tactics put on by the guys upstairs, right? <laughs> if you're always letting stuff like this get to you, you'll start puking ectoplasm, dude. True, that's true. Daddy. Good things come to those who wait, so we should just need to wait for the show to end. <laughs> <laughs> what are you laughing about? <laughs> I'm just happy to know that some good came of us splitting up and investigating the building. <laughs> Uh, are you even listening? In what universe does that constitute as an investigation? Nobody found a way out. Nobody knows who did this to us. And our investigation is what told us that. It told us that it is an unimpeachable truth that we are trapped in the sealed building with no means of escape. We can do nothing but sit still in silence at our words. Reality was staring at us in the eyes. We kept trying to look away. Don't remind me. What are we supposed to do? We're trapped here. No way out. <laughs> huh. Simple. If you want to leave, kill someone. <laughs> Don't even joke about that. G guys, take it easy, please. We need to figure a way out what we're going to, uh, we need to figure out what we're going to do. But we need to be calm about it. <laughs> Anyone got any bright ideas? Adapt. Simply adapt to life here. You want us to get... Just give up hope and accept that we're stuck here? The, ne the inability to adapt is the inability to survive. It's not the strong or the clever who survive, it's those who are capable of change. And with that out on the table, I have a proposal for everyone. Proposal? We're trapped here, which means we must not only spend our days here, but also our nights. I'm sure everyone remembers the rules concerning nighttime, yes? Is she gonna try to get somebody to go out or see what the punishment is? I suggest we impose another nighttime rule. Another rule? You are forbidden from leaving your room during the nighttime. The school rules themselves do not enforce the curfew, but I believe it would be prudent. Uh, and why is that? In our current situation, we are destined to spend our nights here cowering in fear. Never able to dispel the thought that someone might be coming to kill you. What? We'll all waste away here, jumping at every bump in the night. And this curfew would prevent that from happening. Unlike the regular school rules, this is not enforceable. And it will require everyone's cooperation. Still, I think I'm in... Like... The goth chick said, we don't establish our own rules, we're just gonna bring each other down. As the boy's representative, I have no objections. Who, who put you in charge? Uh, I think his suit put him in charge, thank you very much. Uh, that beautiful suit. Uh, anyway, uh, everyone's in favor then. Wonderful. In that case, I shall make you my departure. I, I shall make my departure. Huh? Where, where are you going? It will soon be night time. I thought I might take a shower before then. Pleasant dreams. With an elegance to her gait, Celise left the cafeteria. Salas. Celise? Yeah, Salas. I'm just gonna go with that. Anyway, uh, so natural was her motion that no one even thought to step in and stop her. 
Sh she's impressively calm and businesslike. Not a qualm about sleeping in a place like this. <laughs> Adaptability. Huh. Yeah. What now, Chairman? Only uh, one person's already bailed on us. Mm. Ah, yes. Very well, v very well. Th that should suffice for today's assembly. <laughs> that time is nigh upon us. We must prepare ourselves for another day. <laughs> do we really have to s sleep here? <laughs> what other choice do we have? We'll just, like, wear ourselves out if we don't sleep. <laughs> the only thing we can do today is call it quits. <laughs> We may have made it through one day, but what about t tomorrow? Yeah, honey. Our only option is to continue what we started today. Should another discovery be made, we can reconvene. Mm. Uh, yeah, that that sounds good. Aww. Let's call it a night. I'm pretty tired too. And then everyone began the slow trudge towards the first night within the academy walls. Nagi, <laughs> we better get going too. Ah, uh, yeah. Can you just not walk with me? Ooh, nighttime. And music kind of creepy. Okay, so Am I really gonna sleep in this room? Oh yeah, before I go to bed, I gotta check the shower again. Only the girls were supposed to have locks, right? Uh before I do that, uh, I believe it was not that button. Oh yeah, that yeah, that was the wrong button. Oh, then. This button. And I played a little bit. Just want to make sure I get a save in before something silly happens. Uh, I haven't really made a choice yet, have I? I don't know if there's multiple endings or something, or if I mess anything up, I'll have to go through. My main goal is just to make sure Ishimaru lives, because he's a beautiful man. Uh, look at the shower, I guess. All right, let's open her up. No good. I guess it really is. But it's not locked. You're overreacting. It's like you've seen somebody's ghost. Huh. In this situation, wouldn't it be, uh, wouldn't it saying, it's like you've seen... Oh, no. Oh, no, please no more puns. I just, and the music. Just hurts. Some bear's ghost. Be more accurate. W what do you want, Makoto Nagi? It's an abomination. A bum a nation. Conflagration. Obliteration. Actually, as it turns out, the door to your shower is just misaligned. So the door would open not because it's locked, but because it's not aligned right. Did you not read my informational message? Did you, do you not know how to read? Boys don't get locks for their showers. Besides, even if you had a lock, it wouldn't do you any good. Well, it might do you some good, but I'm not really up to speed on that kind of stuff. Anyway, there's a secret of, uh, to opening that misaligned door of yours. I came here to tell you that. You ready? Pull on the knob as you twist, then try to open the door. Give her a go. Pull on the knob as I twist. Did it as he said, and I was able to open the door and close the door without any trouble. <laughs> that laugh. I, I I will admit his laugh is something else. Quite quite decent. It opens. But isn't it kind of funny? You got the only door that wasn't aligned properly. Aren't you supposed to be the super duper high school luckster? Well, that's what I call irony. All right, now I'm gonna leave things all broke. Like this big bear's got some things. That need doing. Uh, hey, hold on. Dang it. No, do not answer. Oh, wait. Oh, that was something else. Okay. I was going to say, is that the door? <laughs> He's got a little wine cup. That's actually, that's cool. May, uh, may I have your attention, please? The time is now 10 p.m. Night time is now in effect. The cafeteria is now off limits. The door will be locked momentarily. And with that, I wish you all a good night. Sweet dreams. It's nighttime now. We all promised we wouldn't leave our rooms. Which means 
All I've got to do, uh, all I've got left to do today is to wind down and get some sleep. Muttering to myself, I collapsed onto my bed and closed my eyes. I wasn't so much sleepy as I was extraordinarily worn out. Worn out like I'd been made to watch movies non-stop all day long, fooling my mind into believing that I'd been hurled into a world of fiction. That's perfectly natural. No one could just up and accept the fact that they'd been thrown into a situation like this. That's understandable, yeah. And thus, a cur the curtain fell on the first day of my uh, first day at Kabogamon Academy. Did I fall asleep here? I'm not going to. Oh wait. Oh, uh, if I fall asleep here, okay. I'm not going to wake up and find out it was all a dream, am I? As a plot twist, that's pretty terrible. But wouldn't it be amazing? That would be the best possible end. Yeah, just wake up. Everything's over. Monokuma Theater, Act 1. Okay. Mr. Monokuma finished with his preparations, looking rather pleasant. When I think of the days to come, the days we are starting here today, I am filled with pride and joy. For putting on such a wonderful ceremony for us, the new students, I give my deepest gratitude. That we might stand together with honor as students of Kabogumon Academy. Aiming to achieve new, individual ideals, we vow to live our lives to their fullest, one day at a time. That was an interesting little thing. Ding dong. So I guess it's daytime. Wake up. Good morning, you guys. <laughs> oh god, is uh, oh, was uh, kind of adorable in a really weird way. Good morning, you guys. It is now 7 a.m. Rise and shine. Let's make today the best day it can be. Sounds like it's morning, but without windows, I can't be sure. Sounds like it's morning. He just literally just told you it was morning. Anyway, what should I do today? Well, for the time being, I'll find my Zono and see if she has any ideas. She did tell me she'd be my sidekick. Alright, to my Zono's room I go. No. No. No! Having adequately fired myself up, I stepped out of my room. Yes! 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 Uh... Ishimaru! Good morning, Nagi. M morning <laughs> Ah, morning greetings really are quite splendid. Truly refreshing a feel- Truly refreshing a feeling. I look forward to working with you another day. Y yeah I guess this is just how Ishimaru is. Can I talk to you again? Can we talk more? Tell me more things. You're really tall. Okay. It's not even his room. Oh, that's his room. Okay, that's why he's standing there. I was like, wait, why are you standing in front of Kirigiri's room? And then it's just like, oh, he's just standing there. Anybody else up and out? Uh, I don't want to go to her room. Can I stink into Ishimaru's room? Just gonna... Nobody will know. Nobody will know, right? I just up and got myself in there. This is like Ishimaru's bedroom. I don't need anything here right now. Aw. Uh, her room was somewhere around here. Uh, I didn't, don't remember. Oh, my Zona. She's right next to me. Uh... Yeah, I guess before I'll go and uh, sneak into her room without her consent, I will. Where's that? I need. I want to save first. Save. There we go. Save. Should probably use a different save file eventually, just in case I want to play through. Oh. Oh. Oh! I opened the map. Whoops. Can you close that again? Oh, that button. Okay. Yeah. I forgot I could do that. That's really nice, actually. Oh, well, yeah. Okay, that's definitely a lot easier to look at whose room is whose. It's still got all the little faces on them, too. That's cool. I really want to do laundry eventually. 
That's that my main goal. I will do laundry one time in this playthrough. Somehow. I don't know. But I'm gonna pause this before I go into the bedroom.